हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डायनेमिक मेमोरी एलोकेशन इन सी प्लस प्लस तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ डायनेमिक मेमोरी एलोकेशन सम सिचुएशंस ऑफन अराइज इन प्रोग्रामिंग वेयर द डेटा और इनपुट इज डायनेमिक इन नेचर दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ डेटा आइटम्स कीप चेंजिंग ड्यूरिंग द प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन इमेजिन अ लाइव सिनारियो where a program is developed to process employee list of an organization the list grows as names are added and shrink as names are removed so as the data increase the memory allocates space to accommodate the additional data items so such situation in programming require dynamic memory management technique in c++ memory can be allocated in two ways to store the data the first way is compile time allocation or static allocation of memory and the second way is run time allocation or dynamic allocation of a memory so first of all what is static memory allocation static memory allocation in c++ allocate size and location to a fixed variable static memory allocation is done before the program is executed in other words we can say memory is allocated during compile time in this case the size and the location of a variable are fixed throughout the program let's see the code for static memory allocation ten numbers are being allocated here the compiler is being adds to allocate memory for exactly 10 units the exact number of unit is known as 10 at the compile time so such allocation is known as static memory allocation the allocation is static allocation if number of unit is exactly known at compile time So in this type of allocation you can allocate memory for your data at compile time char c similarly for float float d double x so in this example memory is allocated to all the variables at compile time in this case memory is allocated statically so statically allocated memory is automatically released on the basis of scope that is as soon as the scope of the variable is over memory allocated gets freed in dynamic memory allocation in c++ the memory is defined during the execution of the program heap memory is associated with dynamic memory allocation the dynamic memory allocation is also known as run time memory allocation and pointer play a important role in dynamic memory allocation in c++ as we have seen in static memory allocation in c++ the memory is allocated and deallocated automatically but in dynamic memory allocation the programmer must do the memory allocation and deallocation manually we can allocate and then deallocate memory dynamically using the new and delete operators the new operator allocate memory to a variable first of all inside the main function declare a pointer int star p so p is a pointer of integer type then after that dynamically allocate memory using the new keyword so first of all name of the pointer equal to operator new keyword then data type then assign value to the allocated memory 
तो नेम ऑफ द पॉइंटर इज इक्वल टू ऑपरेटर देन असाइन द वैल्यू इन दिस केस वी हैव डायनेमिकली एलोकेट मेमरी फॉर एन इंटीजर वेरिएबल यूजिंग द न्यू ऑपरेटर तो वी हैव यूज द पॉइंटर P to allocate the memory dynamically this is because the new operator return the address of the memory location so in case of an array the new operator return the address of the first element of the array for array specify the size of the array in this case 10 block of memory is allocated once we no longer need to use a variable that we have declared dynamically we can deallocate the memory occupied by the variable for this the delete operator is used it return the memory to the operating system this is also known as memory deallocation so with the delete keyword we can deallocate the memory delete the name of the pointer for array delete array the name of the pointer we can dynamically allocate memory for an integer variable using the pointer p then after that deallocating the memory using delete keyword so let's see the program to understand the concept in better way first of all inside the main function declare a pointer p p is a pointer which is of integer type then declare a pointer of float type two pointers are there the first pointer is of integer type and second pointer is of float type then after that dynamically allocate memory p is equal to new int and q is equal to new float then assigning value to the memory star p is equal to 10 and star q is equal to 20.45 then with c out print the values star p and star q in this example we dynamically allocate memory to two variables of int and float type after assigning value to them and printing them we finally deallocate the memory using the delete operator delete the name of the pointer which is of integer type then delete name of the pointer which is of float type now run this code now after the execution of this code the output is 10 and 20.45 first of all allocation of memory with new keyword then delete then deallocation memory with delete keyword next example how to use new and delete operator for array
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन साइड द मेन फंक्शन डिक्लेयर वन वेरिएबल विच इज ऑफ इंटीजर टाइप विद सी आउट डिस्प्ले द मैसेज एंटर वैल्यू ऑफ एन विद सी इन इनपुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन then declare a pointer which is of float type then after declaring pointer memory allocation of n number of floating type value the name of the pointer p p is equal to new keyword then data type then n is a number of flow type values so memory allocation for n number of floating type values then after that with for loop input n values with for loop input array elements then with second for loop displaying array elements then finally deallocate memory with the help of delete keyword in this program we have asked the user to input the value of n then we have allocated the memory dynamically for the float array using new keyword then after that enter the data into an array using pointer then displaying the data using pointer and after we no longer need the array we deallocate the array memory using the delete operator and in this case we use the square brackets in order to denote that the memory deallocation is that of an array now run this code now after the execution of this code first of all input the value of n the value of n is 3 then with for loop input array elements then with second for loop displaying array elements then after that delete keyword is for memory deallocation next is how to use new and delete operator for object first of all with class keyword create a class abc is name of the class and class having one private data member n and one public constructor is there constructor name is always same as the name of the class and with the constructor initialize the data member of a class and class having one normal member function put function that display the value of n and class body end with the closing curly braces inside the main function dynamically declare abc object with the help of new keyword
when the object of class is created constructor called automatically there is no need to call constructor constructor function called automatically the object to pointer is there then use arrow operator to assess the normal member function of the class name of the pointer then arrow operator then name of the member function now run this code after the execution of this code the output is n equal to 10 in this code we have created a class abc an abc class having one private data member n and we have initialized the value of n to 10 in the default constructor abc and then print the value of n with the normal member function that is put and inside the main function we have created a abc object using the new operator and use the pointer p to point to its address and the moment the object is created the constructor called automatically and then initialize n to 10 then after that we call the put function in this case we use arrow operator this operator is also known as assess class members using pointer after that call the put function and in this code we use arrow operator to assess the member function of the class the arrow operator used to assess class member using pointer this is all about the dynamic memory allocation in c++